Welcome aboard. I'm Captain Jake, and we're back bringing you another episode of DCS. We are currently flying the uh, Coruscant campaign in the, and I have to look up a little bit since I'm in uh, VR, the L39 Albatross. And uh, we are on mission number three. So again, welcome to my channel and hopefully you'll enjoy today's mission. I'm going to jump into this campaign here and you can see that we are on mission number three. We've flown two. We have a 100% success rate and no kills. This is a training. So this is going to be interesting to find out what this one does. It's low level bombing from 100 meters. Hopefully they got fins on them, because if they don't, we're going to blow ourselves up. So, anyway, so I'm going to click OK, and then uh, rejoin you in the cockpit, as always. So, uh, here we go. Okay, here we are back in the cockpit, taking a look around, see what kind of clouds we got today. Uh, it always seems to be cloudy. Never seems to be clear. And... We have to taxi. We know we have to go that way as opposed to what we did last time. So anyway, let's take a look at our mission overview. It's low-level bombing from 100 meters. We're starting at 9 o'clock in the morning. It's obviously a ground attack in a L-39Z uh, Alpha, which gives us a completely different cockpit. For those that uh, can remember, if you look around here, you can see that the switches are all in different spots. Which always makes it interesting, making sure that I... So, we're, uh, situation is low-level bombing with the assistance of RSBN 55 Navigated Reference Point. Okay, we're going to use the RB, RSBN. Well, since we haven't had training on it, we'll have to see how that works. In this flight, we will practice ingress to the weapons raid while bypassing an enemy air defense. Set armament control, maneuver prior to bombing, bombing, egress the weapons range. Okay, to arrive at the weapons range, perform the en route flight. Starting point, SP, is, oh, whatever that, however you pronounce that, uh, A, uh, 276 uh, for three kilometers. Uh, waypoint is this at uh, uh, 266. I had to pause there just for a second. Uh, reference point, another reference, or the reference point is 276 for 53. A leg from the reference point to the target is the ingress course of 7 After passing the reference point, then towards the weapons range along the ingress course, visually identify the target and perform a bombing attack. Okay. Target is a rectangular area located at an azimuth of 276 and distance of 72 kilometers marked with red marker smoke. Good, that's good. I always like red marker, marker smoke. When the bombing task is complete, egress along the route. Targets with the end point of here uh, at the RSBN beacon. Legs, SP, WP, RP target, combat course, and the WPEP with asthmas of 266, 276, 6. Accordingly, along the legs, navigate along the azimuths with the help of the RSBN-55. To perform navigation, fly the azimuth to the RSBN beacon. Set the course marker using the course selector, yes. Value of the desired azimuth. And if flying away from the beacon, set the value to the azimuth minus 180. To follow the required heading, fly to a place the heading deviation pointer on the RMI inside the circle. Okay, we can do that. 
Execution. After takeoff, climb to an altitude of 200 meters and accelerate to 350 at a distance of 5 kilometers. Uh, turn to set the course opposite to the landing course with a roll of 45 degrees to reach the SP village of Rod. While which is located a beam of uh, the runway uh, for zero threshold. Once on this course, accelerate to 500 kph. Once over the SP, turn to the right to a course of 266 with a roll of 45 degrees and climb to 900 meters. Okay, fly towards WP uh, Emmer. After the SP, set the course knob uh, to 266. Okay, prior to reaching the WP, prepare your armament. On the main circuit breaker panel, enable the arms CB. On the uh, main circuit breaker panel, the arm CB is over here, down there, to the right. On the center panel, enable the launch, ASP, and bombs. On the armament panel to the left of the weapons carrier button, select the outboard pylons. Okay. Set the bomb train one salvo switch to salvo position. On the gun side, set the reflector angle to 11 degrees and raise the seat all the way up. Okay. Reaching the WP can be determined by the distance on the PPD2 and the time flown on the leg. Jesus, uh, it takes me longer to read this than fly the mission sometimes. When over the uh, WP, turn to the right of a turn to the right on a course of 335 with a 45 degree roll towards SP uh, SUS. When the turn is complete, set the course pointer to 276. The instructor must then take over control Take over control over radio and establish communications with the weapons range ATC. Reaching the RP can be done by monitoring the movement of the heading bar towards the circle of the RMI and the distance to the PPD to the required RP as well as the flight. Okay. Once over the RP, turn towards the attack egress. My God. Uh... Yeah, whatever, whatever this all says. After two bombs have been released, perform a follow-up attack run. To do so, begin climbing with a 10 degrees pitch at an airspeed of that to an altitude of 200 meters as indicated on the VD-20. Turn to a course opposite the attack heading. When the target is, set, is at beam, start the stopwatch. Enable the left weapons carrier for the outboard pylons using the weapon selector. Select the inboard pylons. After one minute on this course, turn to the left and back to attack heading using the 60 degree roll. When on the attack heading, descend to 100 meters, identify the target, and deliver your bombs. Okay. Let's see. Well, I need to control 700 meters. Okay. After all bombs have been released, climb with a 10 degrees pitch and reduce speed to 500 kph. When speed has been reached, turn to the left with a roll of 45 degrees and fly a heading of 110 when climbing to 500. I mean, there's no freaking way you can remember all this. At approximately 20 kilometers to the RSBN beacon, descend to 200 knots as indicated. After descent, okay, conditions, yeah. Whatever, RBS 34 for navigation, which we haven't undone it, uh, and 36 for landing, traffic controls, mate cop, range controls, channel 6. Okay. All right, let's see what we have here. It was a picture. Okay. Low level bombing run from a 100 meters, AGL, 600 kilometers. 60 degrees, 200 AGL, 600 knot, 600 uh, kPa. And time for 60 seconds. Then 200, 60 degrees, drop down to 100 meters, still with a airspeed, and deliver the bomb. Okay? Careful. 
And it has, what does it go? Wind. 10 degree, 11 degrees down, that's fine. IAS is 600, AGL is 100. We release, see it's marked. We release right when the building hits here, okay? And remember that part. That's, uh, oh, flight plan is available on the kneeboard. Yes, thank you. Right. Perfect. All right. Well, let's go ahead and hit fly. Start the engine. Okay. Yep, naturally, I always hit it out of focus. Just one. Consistent. Wish it would stay inside like it says it's supposed to. at the knee board here after we get started up. And it's the weapon systems there. Uh, let's monitor our startup. The gauge is a little bit different here. Set the navigation and landing channels and ask permission to begin taxi. Look at there. That's what we're waiting for, by the way. Let's, let's goof off here for a second and zoom in on it. That's, I think that's a 23. Not 100% sure. Like I'm going to taxi that away, same way as he was going. Okay. This is don't know if that's much for one of two and two of two. Alright. I'm getting a little bit of moving for some reason, not 100% sure why. Alright. Let's see, I think it's 36 and 34.
Here's the easiest way to do it. Go to our briefing. Okay. Navigation 34 36. All right. Reverse those. Okay. This is not good. Now I've lost. Briefing. Fly. There we go. All right. Okay. And then taxi. That's rockets, load the gun, that's port starboard, salvo, we have port is left, charge to guns, Now I want to make sure that I have only the Kirks select. That's for IR. That's Salvo. Pylon select. Oh, okay, out of outboard and inboard. There we go. That's outboard. Which is what I need. That's what's. All right, so let's do this. Sakrat, 20. Rulinia. Runway four. Okay. Here. Four. It appears this is where I am, so we're going to go that way. Turn to the right. While you're taxiing, let me remind you about some important rules when flying over the weapons range. Enabling and disabling armament controls should only be done by my order. To prevent accidental bomb release, after you enable armaments in the front cockpit, I will disable the armed circuit breaker in my cockpit, and then enable it at 3 kilometers from the target. Range controller. All radios communications with this ATC will be performed by me. 
but you must pay special attention to what he says. When over an RP, you will turn to the left to the attack ingress course, followed by a descent to 100 meters, as indicated on the radar altimeter. While descending on the attack ingress course, pay special attention to maintaining a vertical velocity of no more than 10 to 15 meters per second, accelerate to 600 kilometers per hour, and level out at radar altitude of 100 meters while maintaining the attack ingress course. Now let's stop. Way to go. Okay. At an altitude of 100 meters and an indicated airspeed 600 kilometers per hour, level out and visually acquire the target. After target identification, adjust your course, flip down the weapon arming trigger and perform attack run. There is a crosswind component on the attack ingress course so take this into consideration when maneuvering. The weapons range controller will provide you with the wind information. During the attack run, focus on maintaining your altitude, speed and heading at the moment of weapon release. If you did not manage to release your bomb the first time, perform a follow-up attack run. While flying with the course opposite to the attack ingress course, start your stopwatch when a beam of the target. After one minute, turn back to the attack ingress course. While flying the course opposite to attack Kingers course, do not forget to select import weapon pilots. I'm expecting him to yell at me here any second. Where are you going? But when he does that, don't be surprised. When all bombs have been released, turn to a course of 110 degrees, climb to 900 meters, Flip up the weapon arming trigger and return your seat to its initial position. Okay. I want to see what I'm do here. Ooh. All right. I'm going to take off four two six six. Two six six. Okay. I've Gave me the altitudes. Would be really nice that briefing card. Not sure what the 46 uh, 5.3 means. Not giving me the altitude. So I'm going to guess I'm going to maintain um, 200. Should probably give me. Better indication of oh, good. All right. Take off. Sakrat, двадцатый. Взлет. Двадцать ноль. Сакрат. Взлет по готовности. Отход по схеме на триста подавлений. Семь два пять. Запятая девять один. 
Too late. Nice hill out there. Okay, I will do that. Okay, and all of these turns seem to be five. Must be that one. That must be it right there. I can figure out. Runway. Big town, so. Going over to Big Town at 266, okay. Pray to goodness that he tells me climb or not climb or he did last time. It's that town. Let's see if I can. Six and 
We're darn close. Yelling at me for altitude, but we'll just find the 200. Oh. Six seconds. No. Find out what the bomb drop is. Fixed rockets. Safety on or off. Fire weapon. Okay. Safety, but Okay, it's either that, and then that is that one, so so far we seem to be good. I don't know if the altitude is right, but... Hey, good. I have done so. I do. Okay, deselect. Outboard selects, and this is all right. Like that one. All right, I think I'm good. I will find out when I try to pickle, and nothing happens. Right there. All right, three, five, five, seven, six. Three five. Oh, okay. Three five seven. 
Alazan, this is zero to one at channel six. Request range clearance. Send to 100 meters radar, winds from... Uh, zero to one, roger. Hmm. Do not forget to raise the seat. I did. Yeah, whatever. The seven six. There it is, okay. Red smoke. Looks like you were cleared hot, okay. Good. Uh, zero to one here, Roger. If you did everything right, the target should be right in front of you. Flip the weapon arming trigger down, it identify the target and attack it. Mm-hmm, well, I got the target. And I'm gonna attack it. Okay, we're good. Mm. All right. Now, off. What that meant that I didn't have a boom, but the, the bombs came off at least. And then the river. The wrong side. Hey, there's a river getting past it. Turn my 45 degree in. The 60, I can't remember which. Hot.
Amazon 020 checking out. Zero eight zero one. One one. Zero twenty Roger. Checking out. Right. Egressing the range along a course of one hundred and ten degrees. Mm-hmm. by flipping the weapon arming trigger up. Return your seat to its initial position. Mm -hmm. Not yet. This is a uh, six. All right, this is it right here. Back to zero eight six. Okay. Zero six. Right, all the way back. Concerns me. He hasn't yelled at me yet.
selector is. Those work. Uh, in there, E missile. Well, those don't seem to do it. News is right in front of me, so I'm selected. Podcast button and scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I'm a little jumpy today. Maybe a little too much coffee. It's Still counting down. Just hoping I'm not flying around it. But like I say, he has not yelled at me. Well, so I don't know if that's good or bad. Well, there's an aircraft. Eighteen. I mean, right there. It's an aircraft dot. Yep, that's the airfield. Well, we have to navigate back to the airfield east. Expecting him to talk to me any second. Not. Go to C here. Stop. Inbound. Sakharov, what's up? What's up? What's up? Следующий 
Then runway four then. A little close, but Yeah, yeah, whatever. Alright, let's uh, see what the request is. F1? F1 Okay, three down, flaps are landing, nobody's on the runway. Yeah, let's not fast here. Whatever that is. I'll we'll work our way back to the center here. Here's where we get the bad news or the good news. Find out. Oh, we dropped the bombs. They came off as they were supposed to. I think. Inner and outer. Or outer and inner. <laughs> Alright. Get ready. Tells us. Parking. You know how you performed, didn't you? You did not pass the mission. Ah. Well, I don't understand that. Stop the time on the stopwatch, retract flaps, and taxi to parking ramp. Stop the time. I didn't even start no stopwatch. I already retracted the flaps. I wish you would tell me what I did wrong.
He didn't give me much feedback. So... Not 100% sure what we did and did not do wrong. Oh, here. Shut down. Seemed to have flown the pattern okay, but I wasn't sure. Our menu, ground crew. Docks. Play. So I'd just be curious to see what it tells me. All right. All right. Shut down. That long briefing. I'm going to have to go see if there's a briefing guide for it beforehand that I can review. Because it is sure too long to read once you get into the cockpit. And sure bores the heck out of me, so I'm sure it bores the heck out of everyone else. Okay, and the mission. All right. The draw. <laughs> okay, low-level bombing from 100 meters. All right. Well, we're going to do that one again next time. And uh, see if we can do better. Can't do any worse. So, there you go. So... So that you can see that I leave it the way it happens. There's a failure on that low-level bombing ride. So we will double check and take a look and see if there's uh, something that uh, PDF or something comes with this uh, campaign that I can review to make sure that I understand the uh, route that this low-level bombing mission is supposed to take. I think it's altitude control. I was expecting a little bit more feedback from the instructor, but didn't get it so we'll go from there so that will be it for this episode a uh, redo shall we say so as uh, as always i am captain jake wishing you fair winds and following seas until next time <laughs>